What's going guys? It's Death Monk here. Today I'm going to be talking about something rather interesting that's been brought to my attention, potentially relating to Call of Duty Black Ops 2024. Now, at present moment in time, everyone knows that uh, Black Call of Duty 2024 could potentially be called Black Ops Gulf War, and we may have found a new logo for the new Black Ops game. Now, according to uh, Koto Studio, who basically do all of the fonts for all of the teasers as well as all of the um, <clears throat> in-game icons that we see in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this is the actual company that actually creates all of these uh, rather interesting logos, fonts, icons that you appear at, see on screen and uh, in their promotional material. <clears throat> now uh, if you go to koto.studio slash work slash Call of Duty on the internet which I will also link in the description uh, you will notice there's actually a teaser within this web page for Call of Duty Black Ops Gulf War. And the uh, rumours suggest there's actually uh, the brand new Call of Duty logo for it. So I'm just going to scroll down this rather interesting website. So as you guys can see, uh, this is the, if I'm not mistaken, the current Call of Duty logo, which looks pretty cool if I do say so myself, right? <clears throat> so this is some of their work that they've done. So it's basically a collection, a portfolio, if you will of all of the um, stuff that they've actually created for Call of Duty. So just to give you a bit of an idea of uh, what stuff they've actually uh, created to get to this point. Let's do this. After 20 years of iterations on a typeface created in 1965, 30 years later in 2003, made famous by meme culture, it was time to modernize the word mark. They installed an IP framework for the franchise, bringing consistency and simplicity to a visual system that had been a significant change in that time. So as you guys can see, these are all of the um, fonts that have actually created f uh, within the Call of Duty series. So it looks pretty cool if I do say so myself. Uh, there's also this rather interesting um, GIF images that we see on Twitter, or X as it's now known. They've also got uh, IP titles, Call of Duty Next logos, uh, I think at the top of the screen here, this is what you would typically see in, um, <clears throat> possibly in-house, where you would basically set the code names, if you will, for various different things. So, IP title qualifying line, so Season 4 Reloaded. Then you've got the World Series of Warzone type face. You've also got the Call of Duty Next. Looks pretty cool. I'm uh, just going to call quickly further down. We collaborated with Typographic Found... I don't know if I'm saying this right. We collaborated with Typographic Foundry NAN, or NAN, to build Hitmarker, a custom varial typeface fit for the front lines. So the name of the font is called Hitmarker. With bespoke ways for any loadout, Hitmarker is used everywhere within the Call of Duty ecosystem, game UI, or user interface, internet protocol titles, or... Uh, sorry, beg your pardon. IP titles, brand comms, and thumbnails. <coughs> so, as you guys can see, uh, some of these is what you expect to see uh, in the lobbies. You've also got lock and load uh, from one of their um, teaser images that they've made. I'm not sure what this at symbol is about. I think that's one that they've made themselves. You've also got the capture and defend um, icons when it's been contested and the enemy is actually ob obtaining these different points. Uh, there's another one in a what appears to be a foreign language, so we've got strike first, then the respective um, other languages. Looks pretty cool there. We've also got Bravo Sticks going dark uh, as a promotional image. I can't remember when they posted that one, to be honest with you, but that looks pretty cool. Uh, free for all. I'm assuming that's probably been posted on uh, <clears throat> some sort of social network, potentially Twitter, X, Instagram, something like that. Looks pretty cool. Um, there's also Zombie Ghost. This was one of their promotional images when they actually released that Pacific skin. It looks pretty cool. And as you guys can see, you've also got the pop-ups for getting eliminations. So as you guys can see, double kill, buzz kill, revenge. And it's kind of like how you would see it pop up in game during a match. That looks pretty cool. Um, this one I'm probably questioning because I know it's on YouTube. But um, this one, as you guys can currently see on screen, uh, as different thumbnails that they've created for their videos. <coughs> Those got all gillied up. Um, I think that was probably one of their Call of Duty bundles, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm pretty sure all, well, all gillied up was actually a mission in the Modern Warfare 2 original campaign, or was it Modern Warfare 1? I can't remember if it was one of the two anyway. Uh, all gillied up, I think, ended up becoming a bundle, if I'm not mistaken, and I 
I think they may have reminisced uh, in one of the campaign missions of the rebooted series. So that's really interesting there. Now, just underneath this, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, we've also got Oni Operator Pack, which looks pretty cool. A new Cod Points uh, emblem. Now, I haven't seen this emblem anywhere appearing in game yet, but it could potentially be a new upcoming one coming soon, but we'll have to wait and see. Looks pretty cool with this uh, rotating uh, disc there. Looks pretty cool. Decrypting 0324. Now, and this could actually be a teaser for something, but that's really interesting. Uh, March 24, as a potential guess. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if that could potentially end up meaning anything. But uh, that's really interesting. I think that came from the um, Search and Destroy bomb case. And I think there's usually a countdown on there, but um, I'll have to double check on that because I actually haven't seen that appear in game yet. But uh, it, I could be wrong, guys. Let me know your guess, reason, thoughts of that in the comments. Now, the Abolisher Black Cell Operator. That that was pretty cool, if I do say so myself. <clears throat> but the, the actual... That's all besides the point. The main purpose of this video is to take a look at one sol um, single solitary little thing that she, you may have noticed on the screen right now. Is this actual hoodie. Now, if you guys look closely at one of the sleeves, if you look very carefully, I think it's the... I'm looking at this correct way around the right hand sleeve so the right hand sleeve is if you were looking at it from the back so this one here do you notice one specific emblem that doesn't look familiar but actually when you think about it as a call of duty fan it does now it's actually the black ops logo now sadly i can't pause this video for some reason but um, as you guys can see if you look carefully the black ops logo at the top of the right hand sleeve as if you were looking at it uh, right now is Black Ops, but the font is totally different compared to the Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and Black Ops Cold War um, logos. So that's really interesting, guys. I'm keen to know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. So, that Black Ops, could that Black Ops logo that you guys are seeing on the sleeve of this hoodie be a hint towards Call of Duty's next premium title releasing later on this year? Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. Continue what you guys' views and opinions are. We're just going to take a quick look at some of the other um, <clears throat> stuff that they've done in the portfolio. As you guys can see, we've got, got the compass, the sector in progress notification. That looks pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen much change with this one specifically. Um, I, know, I know this is also appearing in game, but it's one of those things that you just don't take much notice about. Uh, this one, as you guys can see from the create a class menu, looks pretty cool i like what they've done with that uh eyes up this is another promotional image i'm not exactly sure which one this came from but uh that's really interesting there uh i'm just gonna have to take a quick look i can't speak now take a quick look at the uh, charlie oscar delta cod call of duty hit marker hit marker i'm just trying to quickly read some of this see if i can recognize anything out of the ordinary on it uh hit marker is a type family created exclusively I'm trying to read this as quickly as possible before it turns away again. Uh, when it comes back around. For Call of Duty, roger that. Hit marker. I'm just trying to, try to see where I can read in the black side of the uh, the side of this image. Um, it's just got the alphabet, alphabet, alphabet. I think it's pretty much the alphabet on the entire other side. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, it's pretty much the alphabet on the other side of it. So that's really interesting there, guys. Curious to know what you guys' views and opinions are of this. Um, we've also got the Warzone promotional image that we got when Warzone 2 came out. Drop in. We've also got a um, shot of the Call of Duty Endowment weapon charm there. Very, very interesting here, guys. Another image of the Call of Duty League Championship a trophy there. All of this stuff is what you... All this stuff are you seeing that um, this is what um, the company Call of Duty used to actually create their promotional material. Very, very interesting here, guys. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of this in the comments box down below. I can't hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so not miss an upload. Let me know what you guys' views and opinions are of it in the comments. And I'll see you soon in another video, guys. Until then, peace out.